Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Gray59 versus I Only Play Bad Decks, and this is going to be another post-Dune match, and let's hop right in, so we're going to see I Only Play Bad Decks when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they're going to go first 40 versus 45, we got Pressured Planet, Meek, Gamma Seal, Unicorn, and Primal Planet, okay, so this is just to search Star Frost most likely, um, but we do see them actually playing like a cash engine in their Medium deck, uh, which we have not seen a lot of people do post Dune, uh, pre Dune, yeah, but post Dune not so much. Uh, they have Shivara, Prosperity, Sarama, Aura, and then Chamber. So they're gonna go set Chamber, activate Shivara to pop Special Summon Chamber effect, go Special from Deck, okay, and then that's gonna bring out the Shayama. Link those two off into Yama, and then we're gonna get Yama one, Shivara two. So Shivara is going to go ahead and set Escape from the deck. Yama is going to grab the Abominable Unchained Soul. And then they're going to ask if they can read the Escape, which is the pop. Then they're going to go Aura to pop Escape. Special Summon Escape Effect, the special from the deck. It's going to bring out Sarama. Sarama Effect to reset the Escape. And then pop the Aura. Aura Effect to go special. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Then bring out the Rakia, turn those into Soul of Rage. Yeah, see, I was wondering if we were supposed to turn our monsters into Soul of Rage first, and then Sarama set pop, because then we can get Yama bring back, but we also get Soul of Rage effect to add back, which is kind of nice. Um, but I guess we're just popping it here with Shayama. Or, oh, yeah, wait, yeah, we're not going to pop that then? Okay, special Sarama effect. Go ahead and summon out Shivara. Overlay into the DDD and then activate Pot of Prosperity to go banish. So we're gonna banish six, so go to top six. Uh, we're gonna grab back the Abominations Prison. Sure, because that can go search the trap card, the chamber. Activate, go ahead, search out chamber, set chamber, pass. They draw Peaceful Planet. Okay. So they're gonna start this off with Activate Pressured Planet. Uh, pressure planet, grab out Fenrir, drop Gamma Seal over the DDD. Uh, is that even correct? I don't know. I guess it's, yeah, I guess it's correct because you know they have Chamber. Yeah. Shavara effect, go set. So Shavara will go ahead and set Chamber from the deck, special summon Unicorn, and then on summon Solar Rage, use those to link. Even, when, even though we do know that they have Fenrir, uh, we can also pop the Fenrir which we're gonna go ahead and do on the summon. And then we're gonna get uh, chain link one, anguish, chain link two, Yama. So Yama's going to banish, special summon out Rakia. And then we're gonna add back Shavara. And then they're gonna activate the tier field spell to go search for the Visa Starfrost. Activate peaceful planet now to go search. Peaceful planet, go grab room heart. Okay. Uh, normal summon meek. Now we have a quick effect pop and summon also. Then we're going to go Star Frost effect, pop, special, uh, new chain link, meek one, planet two. And then they're going to go Rakia three to pop the gamma seal. Okay. I mean, we just want to pop something so that way we can activate our effect, obviously. Uh, then we're going to go Abominal, Unchained Soul to special summon because a card was destroyed that we control. And then we're going to activate the effect. And then we're going to destroy the Star Frost there. Normal summon out the Room Heart, which we knew that they have. They're going to grab Obsession. Okay. Uh, okay, use those to go into Excel. Excel effect, bring out from the graveyard, doesn't target. Uh, then on that summon, they're not going to have anything. Okay, turn those into the Bestial Disc Pattern. And then they can Banish. Summon out the Astro Loud, activate the effect to go ahead and pop, and then use those to go in the Baron. Disc Patter effect to summon back out Star Frost. Now we have the Link 1 access. Baron effect to pop Rakia. They're going to change Shivara to pop it. Okay, sure. Um, replacing one body for one body. Rakia effect to go summon. Then we're going to chain Disc Patter effect to put back their Yama to negate that. Star Frost and the Light Heart. Lightheart, go search Primitive Planet. Yup, and then that gives us, like, 
you know, a whole line of more bodies. And we haven't even gone through our cross sheep yet. Grab right card, right card effect, go grab a rival, and then activate a rival, summon back out Starfrost in defense mode, and then use those, go on the cross sheep, and then we're gonna go light heart effect, special summon out. Uh, now use all of those to go into an Appalooza, banish, summon out Astro Loud, Astro Loud to pop. They already use its effect, battle phase, and then they scoop. Nice. Okay, so on to game number two now. We're going to see Unchain go first. We got Gamma Seal, Book Gamma Seal, Arrival, Pressured Planet. They have Rakia, Droll, Aura, Abominations, Prison, and Pot of Prosperity. So activate Prison to go search. Uh, prison, go ahead and grab Escape. Set Escape. Activate Aura effect, Pop, and Special. And then Escape effect, go summon out Shayama, Shayama, Pop Aura, Aura, go summon out the Shivara. And then use those to go into Yama, and then we're going to activate Yama 1, Shivara 2. So go ahead and set directly from deck chamber, and then we're going to add back the Shivara. Also, I talked about it yesterday, that it's almost always correct to add back Shivara from the graveyard. I did find one situation where it's not correct, and that's if you are going up into interruptions, like going second, you know you're not getting to the DDD. And then you can set it up to where your Solar Rage can add back Shivara from Grave. So that way on their turn you can discard it off the Abominations Prison. But that is like, it. it's only come up one time specifically for me. But I also don't play Unchained that much. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it comes up more. Pop, Special Summon, Chamber Effect. Go ahead and summon out Rakia. And then they're going to activate Shayama. Pop, Special, Rakia Effect. Go ahead and summon out Sarama. Overlay into the DDD. Activate the Pot of Prosperity now. Looking at the top six, we see Anti Spell. You know, grab that to our hand. Put the other cards back. Yeah, that Anti Spell is going to turn them off. Uh, just a bunch of spells. And our opponent's deck has infinite spells in it. Yeah, they're going to set one from hand. And then Sarama. Set Pop. Uh, blink those off in the Solar Rage. And then pass. They draw Catch to Arise. Activate Anti-Spell, Chain Book to book the DDD. Then they're going to go ahead and Gamma Seal over the Solar Rage. Then from here, Special Summon Gamma Seal, Battle Phase, Attack over the DDD. Activate the Effect of Shivara to go ahead and set from deck. And they just submit the feat. Okay, going on to the next game now. We are going to see the Manadium Cash Tira deck go first. We got Scareclaw, Right Cart, Reframing, Room Heart, Trid, and Ab Session. They have Prison, Aura, Escape, Prosperity, and Perm. Okay, so they drew one hand trap here. Um, they're going to go normal summon out, room heart, no effect of it, trying to play around droll. Uh, special summon out, trid, obsession, destroy, go search pe peaceful planet, trid, go summon out, meek, and then activate peaceful planet, go search beast of star frost. Okay, Obsession, Banish, Special Summon out the Visa Star Frost. Then we're going to go in the Baron, Banish to summon the Fusion, Astro Loud, Effect, Pop, Meek, Meek 1, Peaceful Planet 2. Okay, that's fine. Yup, Summon out from Grave, go ahead and bring out from the deck. And then we're going to use those, yeah, up the level, go in the Crimson Dragon. Hey, let's go, doing the play properly. And then go into Bis Patter. Uh, Dispatter effect, summon out the Star Frost, and then Star Frost and the Light Heart, Light Heart effect, go search out Primitive Planet, activate Primitive Planet, so they're definitely just holding Imperm for their own turn then, if, if that went through. Uh, they're going to search the Scareclaw Cache, and then right card, go grab a Rival, draw one, draw on the Fenrir, I guess it's just like a follow-up thing if our board gets broken, we at least still have like a Fenrir to help. Um, then here, we're gonna go Starfrost plus Meek into the Visas, so we're just gonna search Follow Up, grab Obsession, and then use those to make Cross Sheep, uh, Light Heart to summon, because we have Visa Starfrost, because the Synchro counts as it, and then use those to go into the Appalooza, set Reframing, and then pass. So, yep, uh, I've talked about this before, this is pretty much what the deck can always end on, Reframing, Appalooza, Baron, Dispatter, like, that's, like, pretty easy to get to uh they're gonna go pot of prosperity go banish six look at the top six and then that's a dark ruler 
Okay, yeah. Dark Ruler. We, I mean, you know that they have reframing because they added app sessions. So, like, obviously they have this already. But you gotta bait it eventually, right? Activate Prison Ghost Search. Grab the Abominable Unchained Soul. And then we're gonna go Imperm on the Appalooza. Baron to negate. Okay, so we want our Appalooza to try to get more value. They're gonna go set aura effect. We're gonna chain this pattern, target their card. They said, actually, I'm just gonna normal summon instead. Okay. And then go battle phase. Battle phase, attack Appalooza. I guess we wouldn't negate it, right? We would just destroy it. Yeah, we would just destroy it. Cause, well, no, cause then they get their set effect and they get abominable chamber. They yeah, probably would just negate it. They're gonna go R01, chamber two. Uh, they're going to go Appalooza 3, so the R is still going to summon to bring out the Rakia. Rakia effect, try to pop this up. And then they're going to go Dispatter to put back one of theirs to negate. Okay, attacking the Appalooza. And then they're going to go... Oh, this isn't once per turn to do that? Oh, you can only special it once per turn. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't know it worked like that. But yeah, now they're going to have to Appalooza negate that. Summon out Shyama. And then, I guess that's cool to to know. I can help beat Appalooza a lot more. Shyama, beat over the Appalooza. And then main phase 2, effect, pop. And then they can pop the opponent's field spell. And then, prison 1, soul 2. Uh, yeah, they're going to summon out from the deck. And then, prison summon from the deck. Bring out the Shavara. And now they can rip apart the board pretty easily. They're going to go in the Yama. Yama 1, Shavara 2. So Shavara set chamber, add back aura, which we never used. Um, then we're going to go into Anguish. Anguish effect, use itself plus Bestial Dispatter to go into Solar Rage. Oh, I guess it makes sense that they were going for Abomination. Yeah, 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 it makes sense, it makes sense. Pop, special summon effects, pop, special summon out Sarama. Because now we can go ahead. Said, hmm, can I add Yama to that chain? Sure. Okay. So Yama's going to banish, summon out Anguish, and then we're going to go Sarama effect, set, pop, and then Anguish effect, add back the Shivara, summon from Yama, then pop Anguish, or summon Yama, okay. Uh, activate, pop, special summon, Sarama effect, and then that can bring out Rakia, use those to link in the Yama, use those to go into Solar Rage, set, pass, okay. And we also have the DDD banish, probably, right? Oh, we didn't. Okay. Um, I guess we could have gone for it, but this is good. They're going to go reframing to put back some Mananiums. Yup, put those back. Draw Fenrir. I, yeah, I was going to say, you can use each, right? Yeah. And then draw Fenrir. So they're going to go special summon Fenrir. Battle phase. Activate chamber at the start of battle phase to summon out Rakia. And then they're going to let them attack. Okay. Let them banish and beat over. And then they're going to activate Yama and Solar Rage. So Solar Rage is going to add back the Abominable Unchained Soul. Banish Yama, bring out Solar Rage. Main phase 2. Fenrir, go search out Kashtira Unicorn. And then activate Ab Session to destroy Fenrir. Uh, they're going to chain the Solar Rage to stop them from getting their search here. And then go up into Anguish. Okay. Special summon out Unicorn. Unicorn effect. And then, yeah. Because, you know, they could have popped it on some in a couple different ways. But it's fine. Then activate Birth. Really? You're going to let the Birth effect go through too? Okay. Bring out Fenrir. I guess, like, what does this actually accomplish? So I'm still wondering why you have cash cards. Scareclaw, Banish, Special. Said anything here? No. Go for Big Eye. Big Eye, try to take. Okay. And then pass. They draw Escape. You're going to go Anguish Effect. They can go into Muckcracker. Unicorn to rip the extra deck. Rips the DDD. Muckcracker Effect. Discard Escape. Summon out Sarama. Sarama Effect to set and then pop. Set chamber, pop chamber, chamber effect, one, abominable two, two special summon, then they're going to summon out Shyama, new chain link, abominable effect to out the unicorn, and then they're going to get the Shavara effect to go set chamber from the deck, 
Okay, and we've already used chambers, so that's just like a next turn thing. Oh, it's also so broke, I didn't even think about that. We can beat over our own monster and then activate its effect to go special. Summon out from deck. Uh, let's see, four. Oh, that's, that's a little bit off, right? That's just not game. Or am I dumb? Oh, we can escape the pop, that's true. Yeah, we can escape the pop and then get that effect to special for the last bit. I was just thinking, I was like, wait, why didn't we go like Shayama effect to pop escape to pop birth and then we also get the effect to special. But I guess it's fair because we could just simply do it in battle phase like that. Okay, yep. Said misplayed. Uh, I misplayed, but not knowing it was Manadium game one. Oh, that's why cash cards are great. They bait interruptions and search engine pieces. Yeah, and then they're just talking about how the deck works together, like Fenrir, Search Rise, has 15 attack, 21 defense. Um, but okay, then seeing out how long the match was, uh, the match was about 50 minutes long, so we are going to go ahead and see Unchain there win over the Manadium Cash Tira deck, but I don't know. The Cash Tira Manadium deck's a little bit interesting. Manadium in general, I think, is like pretty good. But with the Cash Tira, I don't know how I feel about it. Because you also are throwing a bunch of weird cards in your deck, like Birth. But Birth also isn't the weirdest card, because you can always get access to Scareclaw Cash Tira. But it's like, is that even worth it? I don't know. Right card's broken. It gives you a draw, and it gives you a Reborn for a level 6 tuner. That's also Visa Star Frost. And then, like, the level 6 tuner, that plus Meek. Can go into like the Vistas more often to get, to grab reframing. Reframing's broken. Uh, it's like I don't know. You build like a big end board, and like on top of that, you have the counter trap, and the counter trap really helps like protect. Uh, like this end board is an auto win if you go for Baron Dispat or Appaloosa reframing, but it's a very solid end board that you can get to very easy. Um, they had to spend more cards to do it, but that's also because they tried to play around Droll somewhat by going ahead and not using the room effect. Um, yeah. Like, they still would have gotten hit with Drool, and Drool would have still hurt. It just would have... You know, we would have had an extra body from Peaceful. But, like... Is that even worth it? Yeah, like, the more I think about it, is that extra body even worth it? Because aren't you just getting an extra body from Room Heart in the first place? Right, and then you get to check for draw earlier to see if you're gonna get hit with it or not. I guess then you can't activate Abscession the Summon from hand, but okay, maybe that would be what's hurting. Yeah, maybe that. But did we even have Vsus in hand until after we peaceful? I don't even think so. I don't know. It was questionable. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.